Welcome back, folks. I'm Manic Mink. This is Something Something Game Time, and we are playing Shadow and Returns. Uh, when we last left off, we had to break into Coyote's computer, uh, which we can do now. Um, I know I couldn't do it in the last video, but when I went to reload my save, it loaded at the start of the Seamstress's Union. So I had to sort of redo everything, and as part of that, I put uh, extra point into hacking. Hmm. Okay, drinks aside. Basic list of applications. Uh, calendar. Uh, three days ago, meet with Delilah about gig. Today, meet with Paco for day to Pike Place Market and do in 30 minutes. Contact. Uh, Coyote's contact list has exactly one entry, someone named Paco. Uh, there's no com link or other contact information available. And access history. Uh... So, she's done a lot of searching about hellhounds. Okay. Speak with the owner, Mrs. Kubota, again. Okay. Hmm. Uh, do you know Paco? He's a ganger, member of the Cutters, good kid in a nasty line of work. Uh, Jin Park sold Coyote a gun recently. I'd be more surprised if she hadn't. Bounces can deal with most of the troublemakers, but around here you need to keep a, a gun just to take out the trash to the dumpster. Or is meat emporian? No, I'm a vegetarian. And Dayton place market. Uh, if you would go down there, it might bring me a peace of mind. I'll call a cab for you. It should be able to get you there in time. Alright, so... Uh, I'm doing okay on everything else. So let's go and uh, see if we can't find out what happened to her. And then, eventually, what ended up happening with Sam. Travel to Pike Place Market? Yes. Uh, you catch a cab from Touristville to Pike Place Market, and a mercifully quiet ride that takes you from probably going to be mugged to probably going to pay too much for your drinks. Uh, com uh, compared to the urban wasteland of the Barrens, the downtown area is filled with modern buildings, laid streets, and unbarred shops, all living beneath the shadows of massive corporate arcologies. For many of these arcologies are home, for others these hulking monuments to these they're hulking monuments to where the world went wrong. Famous for its fishmongers, Pike Place Market has been around since the early nineteen hundreds overlooking the bay, and now it's a market for all things legal and illegal. The melting pot of the haves and have nots, even though uh, most of the shops are closed, the sights, sounds, and smells of the market hit you the moment you step out of the cab. Okay. Find Coyote's boyfriend. Uh, doesn't look like we have any place to go, except for here. The hell's all these people doing? A handsome young man turns away from the crowd and fixes you with his full, uh, completely undivided attention. Sir, you are a beautiful elf, but you could be so much more. Uh, what are you selling? Not, I'm not selling anything. We are, are giving away secrets to a more fulfilling, happy, productive life. Okay, I'll bite. First step is simply come and listen. Tomorrow night, uh, Lynn Telestrian will be speaking about the importance of family in the sixth world. Please join us tomorrow, and the secrets to a better life shall be revealed to you. Oh, this is that crazy cult that the boyfriend was part of. Um, I'll call them Mayantologists, not Scientologists, because that would be wholly inappropriate. So I see Paco down there, but I want to run around and see what else is... There's Maury's Meat Emporium. Uh... Oh, great. <sighs> I see that. That's a dead body. I'll go exploring first, make sure I uh, see everything there is to see. So 
My friend around, tall lady with dreads. Uh, I guess we'll go up here and talk to the cops about this, because I'm sure she's dead. Uh, and that might allow us to talk to Paco a bit easier if he knows that something happened. Ripper took her eyes. Tall, motionless Lone Star officer blocks entry to the crime scene. Behind her, you spot the lively face of the organ grinder's doctor, uh, organ grinder's coroner, Dresden. It's Lone Star investigation. Please step back. Uh. Detective Manic Ming Auburn Precinct. We have reason to believe the victim may be involved in a legal BTL smuggling ring. We're investigating. I'd like to examine her belongings for evidence. Captain Sin number, please. It's all right, officer. He's with me. Uh, Dresden steps up to the barrier with a warm grin. Officer looks at you with poorly concealed skepticism. Okay, then make it quick. Uh, so it didn't work out quite as I had thought. Uh, let's look at her. Payment is the body of a young human female. Her eyes are gouged out with a string of bite marks along the left arm. Uh, right. We'll talk to Dresden first, because he's our friend. So it brings you out here, huh? On the trail of the dead man's killer? Uh, coincidence, believe it or not. I take it I've stumbled across another mur Ripper m murder? Uh, yeah, that's what it looks like. As you can see, Ripper went for the eyes this time. Pretty clean work. I gotta hand it to him. Our Ripper knows what he's doing. Or she, I suppose. Uh, what do you know about the victim? Uh, not much. He scratches his head. Uh, she's been dead for about three hours. Her name is Lucy Warden. She worked at the stuffer shack around the corner. Looks like she was just leaving work. Can you tell if she was subdued in some way? Strange thing, there don't seem to be any signs of a struggle, not a single bruise on her body, yet she was clearly alive when the eyes were taken. Died of blood loss shortly afterwards? As to what knocked her out, I won't know. Um... And Pike Place a little far from home? Yeah, well, I don't really mind the change of scenery. The corner for the downtown branch is out of maternity, so I told management I'd cover for this one. Plus, I want the sicko caught. White marks on her arm, completely unrelated. Seems some wild dogs dragged the body out of the alley sometime after her death. Uh, he's had a magic use that was evidence of an unusual explosion in the alley where Sam died. That's an interesting thought. No one, uh, uh no, nothing obvious, though. I'm sure when McCluskey shows up, he'll call in a full magical forensics team, just to be sure. I doubt he will. Uh, so the Ripper takes Sam Watts' liver and this woman's eyes. Any theories? Uh, trophies of some sort, I suppose? Probably of some symbolic significance to the killer? Uh, beyond that, I couldn't speculate. Thanks. Uh, hey, if I figure I figure if I help you out, there's a better chance to get this scumbag off the streets. McCluskey wants Ripper in a cell, sure, but he couldn't care less if it takes another dozen murders. Good luck out there. Speaking of McCluskey, you should probably get going soon before he shows up. I want to talk to this elf. Because who are you? I was standing before you may possibly be the ugliest elf you've ever seen. His meticulously clean lab coat, format jacket, and old-fashioned bow tie. From the look of an undertaker of centuries past. He notices you approach and locks eyes with you, smiling a thin, unnerving smile. Uh, hello there, stranger. Might you inquire, do you know which organ grinder's facility this body will be removed to? Uh, why would you want to know something like that? Elf giggles creepily. Uh, oh, just a hobby. Never mind that, though. A good day, evening to you and your friend, the coroner. Hmm. Dresden, do you know who that is? Now, you notice that particularly ugly elf standing over there in the corner? Uh-huh, where? Uh, he's gone now, but he was asking about the body, wondering which organ grinder facility uh, it'll be taken to. Interesting. Well, there's those who might be interested in purchasing, purchasing some of her parts. Keep an eye out for an ugly elf. And Officer Aguirre. Uh, Plain clothes Lone Star Officer before you sports a tacky hat and a crooked grin to match. So you're the one who's working for the dead man, eh? McCluskey warned you us uh, you might be sniffing around after the Ripper. Lucky for you, I got here before McCluskey. Officer Geary, nice to meet you. Now, seeing as this is a crime scene is going nowhere fast, what can I do for you? Uh, can you tell me about the, where the murder took place? Not really. We know it was about three hours ago and that her eyes have been surgically removed. Uh, he's been looking at the body, though, so we might have more. I'm scanning the rest of the scene, looking for witnesses, but none so far. You and McCluskey don't see eye to eye. Let's just say we have conflicting interests. Uh, you know any leads that I should look into? Plenty if you ask McCluskey, but the truth is we're as clueless as you probably are. Thanks for your time. Hey, hold on a minute, though. You haven't put in a donation to the Lonely Orphans Fund. 
Yeah, you see, you make a contribution to the fund, I put you on a list and let you know the next time we find any orphans that you might be interested in. Oh, it's not orphans, it's ripper victims. Always interested in finding by new orphans you discover. Uh, eh, sure. Excellent, I'll start an account for you. Will we get any useful leads on the ripper? I'll give you a call. Oh, we'll talk to Dresden one more time, maybe. Uh, can I trust Sergeant Aguirre? Uh, that sounds about right. Any opportunity to get in McCluskey's way, I'll take it. If it's sleazy, sure, but I'd take Aguirre over McCluskey any day of the week. Thanks, buddy. You are our only friend here so far. Is there anything over here? thought for sure that murdered girl would be, uh... Oh, what's-her-face? Coyote. There's no trolls around here, Frank. Uh, junkie. That's a junkie with a gun. I don't want to deal with a junkie with a gun right now. Uh, can I get up here? Or maybe. I don't know. I'm gonna buy some BTL. I assume BTL is some kind of drug. Uh, let's see objectives. Coyote's boyfriend, Paco. Learn more about the murderer. Alright, let's go talk to Paco, because he was down here and it doesn't look like there's anything else going on, and then we'll head up that way and see about the murder. Uh, right, Paco, hopefully don't shoot me with your machine gun. Get in front of you sports a trademark yellow jacket of the Cutters gang, young clean shaven, he stands like he owns the street and everyone on it. He seems distracted though. Yeah, he looks over you as you approach. Watch yourself, dandelion eater, what do you want? Careful kid, you Paco? What the who the hell are you? Uh Let's see, what do we say? Uh one is going to pretend you're have better manners. Ah, uh, relax, we're on the same team. Tough guy swagger seems to drain on a Paco. The cutter's gone, and before you stands a kid in a yellow jacket that doesn't quite fit. Coyote's missing? Oh man, that would explain. She was supposed to meet me here over an hour ago. Look, I'm sorry I get in your face like that. What else do you know? If she's missing, I need to find her. Ah. Uh... Where's Meat Market? What, you've been rummaging through her stuff? Uh, yeah, that shop's down the block. What the hell? She would be needing zebra meat, though. Uh, beats me. Do you know a fixer named Mr. Delilah? No, I'm sure. Blake doesn't allow any cutters to take side gigs, though, so I ain't got no reason to deal with them. Uh, Cody doesn't say anything about taking new work. Wait a minute, I know where she went. Damn, why couldn't she wait? Damn it. Uh, well, slow down. Where'd she go? Royal Apartments. Uh, landlord Stevie J runs a drug ring. Uh, looking for a way to sell the score with a guy. Um,. Lila was looking for uh, runners to seal some sort of item out of under Stevie J's nose. She must have taken the job. The thugs caught her. Going over there. You coming? Uh, uh, don't worry. We'll get her back. Uh, and I think Royale Apartments are probably up here somewhere. Actually, we'll just stop here at Maury's Meat Emporium. Manny at Maury's Meat Emporium. A small meat stand uh, presents an enormous diversity of dead animals, from cow and canine to the exotic and paranormal. Pictures on the back of the stand feature a much older version of the man uh, in front of you. As soon as you notice Paco, what do you want? You know we can't afford more. Relax. My friend just had a question. Everything cool here? Everything's swell, man. He continues to stare daggers in Paco's directions. Uh, name's Manny. Now, what do you want? Um... Someone named Coyote? Now, don't. Uh, what's your problem with Paco? Why don't you ask him? How's that supposed to mean? It means that your gang likes to stroll he through here and relieve us merchants of our yen. Dad stood up to them and now he's in the hospital. Well, it's not my problem at the bottom of the cutter's rank anyway. I don't have to. Uh, time for this. We will in a minute. Let's. Uh, what would someone buy zebra meat for? Some people eat it. I wouldn't recommend it. Tough as nails. 
Uh, mostly sell it to corporate security teams who use it to reward their hellhounds. Flamers go crazy for the stuff for some reason. Uh, everybody talks about the pet hellhounds DBJ keeps locked up somewhere in the Royale, and if you never picked it up... Uh, look it up. Yeah, I got it right here. Two days past the pickup time. Didn't think anything was going to come of it. Uh, here, it's all yours now. Okay, so we got some zebra meat. She was trying to, uh... Oh. She tries just the flashing lights. She spot the... Uh, oh no, is that Coyote? This isn't happening. God damn it. Pull yourself together. Take a look. Is that her? No, no, it's not her. Thank God. Let's not hang around here too long. Too many Lone Star pigs around. Uh, it's too bad whatever happened here. I'm not going to let anything... Yeah, we already looked into whatever happened there. So now let's find out what happened over here. Talk to Frank at the Stuffer Shack. Ah, oh, that's a Royale there. My blind Lucy, uh, arc before you win standard Stuffer Shack employee getup. Well, uniform as well, Captain, well fitted, but the tears, uh, tears streaming down his large crooked face do little to improve his appearance. He does not seem to notice you as approach. Uh, take it you knew the victim? Yeah, what's it to you? My condolences, were you close? Yeah, thanks, sorry, we're just not used to folks being too friendly around here. Wake some tears away with the dirty napkin. Yeah, we were pretty close as co workers go. Blind Lucy and I worked here at the shack for three years together, started on the very same day. Blind Lucy? Well, Lucy wasn't completely blind, but she was legally blind. She had to wear these huge glasses and hold things right up to her face, but she got new eyes about a year ago. Any idea how she scored the new eyes? Ah, uh, stroke of good luck. Hmm. Ah, uh, see anybody strange? I see weird stuff to stuff her shack, but no, nothing stranger than usual. Does she have any enemies? Ah, uh, she had a really ugly breakup with her boyfriend after getting those new eyes put in. I was pretty upset for some reason wouldn't leave Lucy B until she filed a restraining order. Uh, when was the last time you saw her? Here at the shack earlier today, I think she was heading to the market to meet a friend. Hell, I was going to join her on my way home, but we got some last minute customers. That's all I need to know, thank you. Uh, to be part of the investigation. Um, I'm on my way, why do you ask? Well, Lucy had this necklace and took it little carving a dragonfly. I wore it every day, said her mom gave it to her after she left Denver. And when you know how Lone Star is, all our stuff will be bagged and placed in evidence storage until the Seventh World Awakens. I just thought, just thought if I could, you could somehow get that necklace back before Lone Star cleans everything up, I could send it back to our family. Uh, sure. Run back here, try and find the necklace. Maybe Dresden will give it to me because he's a good guy. Uh, no, I'm not quick enough to pocket the necklace on her own. Didn't take the necklace if I help with the investigation. Uh, sure. Hmm. Okay, well, I guess probably because we bribed him, he gave us the necklace. Uh, if we hadn't, we probably would have had to either sneak it out or just not get it at all. So let's go talk to Frank and give this back. Uh, here you go. If I can do this much for Lucy, thank you, I owe you. Uh, make sure that it gets to Lucy's family. Because we're good guys. Um, and let's actually spend some karma. We can level up a bit. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Uh, let's go additional weapon slot up that, and we'll take a rifle, I think is what I was going to take. Right? That's what I took last time? And we'll put a point and dodge. Okay. Alright, let's talk to the junkie with the machine gun. Uh, can I get extra yen? I just need some... Sucre zoom from the shack over there. Yeah, we may as well be nice to him. Okay, 
Come on, let's go find Coyote. Alright, I'm ready. However, we're going to have to find Coyote next time. Uh, once this loads. So, I am Manic Mink. This is Shadow and Returns. Catch you next time. Take care.